Let's assume our company decided to outsource. Then the next question is, from how many suppliers should we buy this service or product? Is one supplier enough or should we go for a number of suppliers? You might be forced to go for only one supplier or you might make use of the following of, of the advantages of having only one supplier in the following cases. Maybe our supplier has a patent and is the only supplier of an essential product. If you recall the vaccine discussion during COVID, in the beginning there was only BioNTech and Pfizer who were the own, only company in the beginning who were able to supply a vaccine. For technology, this often happens that there are patents, the products are protected by patents, and in that case there might be only one company who is able to provide us with the product. What also happens very often that one supplier is so good that you don't even want to consider buying from a competing company because the quality of the supplier is so high. If you are bundling your demand with one supplier only, then this supplier might grant you higher discounts. They might give you quantity discounts. So if you decide to buy everything from a single supplier, your discount and the price you pay in the end might be lower. This is an advantage for going for one supplier. In tight markets, there might also be contractual agreements that will not allow you to split your order. Maybe there are only two or three suppliers. The market is very tight and then a supplier will only make business with you if they get your whole business. They are not happy on splitting the business with, with their competition. And when we extend this argument, buying from a single supplier often is a kind of prerequisite to start a deeper relationship in the supply chain. Deeper relationship might be uh, we have stricter contracts that reduce our degree of freedom and uh, help to coordinate the decisions much better or there are some joint software systems in use and of course when you have one software system in a company you just do not add another um, big software system just to do business with another supplier so these integration issues might uh, might be easier handled if you only go for one supplier. Sometimes your volume is also not big enough, so it's just not possible, because suppliers have maybe minimum order quantities and it's not even possible to, to split your order or maybe the order is very complex. Let's say you build a new factory, a new nuclear power plant, then you cannot just buy this single big product, this single big investment product from a couple of different competing companies. An advantage of having only one supplier is that you can typically uh, schedule your deliveries easier. Your warehouse is only supplied by trucks from a single company and you can coordinate these things much easier compared to the situation that several companies make the deliveries. Okay, these are the reasons or the arguments why we should go for only a single supplier. Of course, there are also arguments to use a number of different suppliers for the same item. Um, for example, if you are able to give your competing suppliers a little bit of your business, they might fight harder for your business and and as an end result they will give you maybe better service or a better price. Um, you are allocating your risks, you are spreading your risks when you go for a number of suppliers 
uh, let's assume one supplier cannot provide you because something went wrong in the supplier's factory, something is wrong in the supplier's supply chain, maybe there are new legal restrictions, um, then you can always switch to the second supplier. So there will be a higher likelihood that you avoid any disruptions in your supply chain if you have uh, multiple suppliers for a single item. You can have a greater flexibility in your procurement volume, assuming your volume has big changes and then maybe you have more opportunities to buy the required volume from a number of different suppliers. As an extension of this argument, maybe you are such a big company that there is not a single supplier that can fulfill your complete capacity. Think of uh, smartphone manufacturers and their suppliers. Maybe Apple needs to use a number of suppliers just to fulfill the required product volume. What is also good when your system, when your structure is already used to using a number of different suppliers, you can slowly give some business to a new supplier and integrate this new supplier slowly in the supply chain. That means you can test if this supplier is really reliable, um, how the parts of this supplier work, and you can do this without um, threatening your the main supply chain. If you only have a single supplier for this item, then this will not be possible, eh? because then it's like a binary decision, either buy from supplier A or buy from supplier B. And if the new supplier then is not as good as promised, you might face much more problems. Sometimes uh, we have also government regulations, market regulations, competitive law regulations, that force you to buy from multiple sources in order to uh, have a certain degree of competition in the market.